Let us see this one. The famous doctor is there. Till you are tuning to radio, 107.5 megahertz sir, for Tamil. Make faster, please. We do not want to disturb in between. Okay? Very, very famous doctor is uh, uh, moving around the world and it's very very difficult to get his apartment all the way. He's charging too much also, high fees. Uh. <coughs> Such a person, you become old. Uh, he's the doctor for the body but he could not control his own body to maintain his youth. So at last, he had to give up his body, isn't it? Many are watching the doctor since long time. They are also wondering what happened to that doctor, so active, uh, so intelligent, so smart, such a person gone. Where? What happened to that person? intelligence and all. How much he must have spent for that one? Isn't it? Very has gone. But everything is left behind on him. He could not take anything of his. Uh, what all the amount uh, he accumulated. <laughs> everything is there. He could not take that one with him. great doctor, what is going to him? By chance, if he takes the human body, again he has to go to LKG, UKG, first standard and all. Huh? What happened to his doctor course? 
he lost the fun. He could not take anything and ability, what all he accumulates, what all he got. Huh? That also. Isn't it? Then how we can understand this point? He did so many things, but he could not take them along with him. He left behind. Isn't it? After seeing other doctors, what a lesson they should learn? Any other doctor has come to this point that this doctor left what all he accumulated, that is not that much intelligent. Isn't it? It's not that much intelligent person. But if you try to uh, take something when we give up our body, then it's good enough. Like that, any doctor till now has thought like that one. Otherwise, any one of us is the only doctor group I'm talking about. But if it is general, yeah, general, and anyone is uh, not thinking about this one, the poor fellow could not take anything along with him. And he, yeah, he just put all his effort throughout his life. Yeah, throughout his life, he put his effort. But he could not take anything along with him. How I should live my life? Anyone thought like that was? Anyone, you also at least got this one before, the idea? Huh? You got that idea? Now you are getting. Isn't it? What happened to our intelligence? Intelligent fellow is so doctor, is roaming around the globe. Where the intelligence gone? The intelligence become null and void. Huh? Such a great intelligent person who earned very demand to get his appointment. Such a person gone. The poor fellow you could not take even single. Huh? Small portion of what he accumulated. But he has gone, that we are telling. Isn't it? He cannot come back. We are burning his body also. Even if the soul comes, he cannot re enter into his body. Huh? Otherwise, his body can decay. Isn't it? So, after watching all these things, None of us thinking huh, what I should do so that I can carry when I give up my body. It's not nice. Death is sure. Can anyone avoid death? Huh? No one can avoid death. But death time, we are giving up all the things, what all we are calling. Isn't it? What is the intelligence then? Why you have to use this much intelligence to procure something, accumulate something, grab something, but at last we could not use that one, cannot carry on with that one. Is that the intelligence? That's why Krishna is telling something. What is telling? Huh? Pardon, sorry? Don't ask, don't tell vague answer. I'm telling, again you just listen. No? In my question itself, the answer is like, he used all his intelligence, he accumulated so many things, but he could not carry along with him when he gave up his body. I am asking the text words in Bhagavad Gita. Huh? That person carries the answer. 
Again, I repeat my question. He got the fifty percent answer. He got, he got fifty percent. Pardon? I am asking the text from Bhagavad Gita. Tell the text, Sanskrit statement. He gave fifty percent answer, but he could not get it back. Tadami buddhi yogam tam yena maam bhupayanti te. Tadami buddhi yogam tam. Please understand, you use your intelligence, you are not going to be victorious. If you take my advice, you will never lose anything. Isn't it? You understand the point? How nicely Krishna is telling her. Tathami buddhi yogam. I am going to give you the intelligence. But we are not accepting Krishna's intelligence. That is the problem. Here the doctor is charging lakhs of rupees for operation. Huh? Got that much intelligence to grab money from public. Public also very happy huh? to offer that much to get rid of their disease. Isn't it? They are also happy. Doctor is also happy. But at last, the doctor is not happy. Even the patient is also not happy. That is not permanent solution. Is that a permanent solution? No. It's going to become old. Then old means you get its own problems again, huh? Isn't it? He helped so many people, so many patients. Some people telling they did a thousand operations, this, that, and all. Isn't it so famous? But why? What all the accumulator they could not carry along with them? Why the destiny is like this one? Why the God, Almighty, is doing like that one? Huh? Is there any answer from anyone? Huh? Why? God is all good. From all good, no bad is coming. But it felt, you know, we are all feeling it is bad. Right? What could be the reason? What could be the reason? It is exam last. Huh? Exam last, exam past Pandriya India. Last exam. Last exam in the exam. No, 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 no. What could be the... He is doing his duty, Baba. He is a doctor, he is doing, he is operating, he is cutting and he is putting... Uh, is teaching, doing, everything is nice. Huh? Then why? All good Krishna and the doctor is his son, patient is his son. Huh? But the doctor, the Krishna result is not favoring both of them. Huh? How can I understand this point? What desires? Our doctor decides and the uh, patient design. Come with clear answer. Doctor wanted to enjoy with through so many money and the patient wants to enjoy with uh, no disease. Uh, that's the desire. Every, each and everyone got the same idea. But all are not patients. Huh? All are not doctors. This is the common desire. Sir. But still, better answer should be there. The person doing the same thing, because his doctor is operating 
is doing so nicely. Yeah. He's removing the tumor. He's uh, stitching the heart. He's doing so nicely everything. Huh? But why this? Huh? This heart, God. Huh? We are telling he's all good. But why? The result is all bad. How many of you attended yesterday class? You could easily understand yesterday class also what I told this one. This is he has come jumped from 50 to 70 percent. Pardon? Sinful activities. Everyone is sinful. Everyone is sinful. Sinful means one who is not pleasing is a sinful person. Not kept Krishna in the center and not kept Krishna he is yes. also five percent extra answer. But it's not clear answer. So you mean to say that even if we operate someone you should not charge anything. Is it? Huh? Give up the results. Results is he's getting money only, no? He's looting money. That's the results. But no one is uh, 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 donating to his fund center. After that, isn't it? <laughs> if that is they do, then they, they may carry something. <laughs> In Adilabad, like that, only one person told her. Huh? He sold a building and he got uh, number one and number two money also. But he doesn't know what to do with the number two money. So my son-in-law is a bank, State Bank of India, and he approached him. He told that man, ah, you just give 30 percent to the government, then you can make uh, the rest, uh, this one. He told, no, 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 I do not want to spend, waste my 30 percent. So he left. So people, they don't want to uh, waste the 30 percent also. I told my son-in-law, he should have told that we have in Adilabad the ISKCON center. He could have donated that money to ISKCON center, no? Why he has to uh, bother? Uh, isn't it? If we donated all the money to ISKCON, there is no problem. No one is going to come and check up his home. Isn't it? So, the doctor, as though that intelligence and all given by Krishna is using the results only for his sense gratification. Isn't it? He accumulated all the money for himself. Krishna doesn't like this one. If he used his intelligent doctor just to cure the patients. Patients are children of Krishna. Huh? Then he could have accumulated all this sinful money. He is freed from his entanglement. You understand this point? He has to do the service to the patients thinking this is the service to Krishna. This is really called Manava Seva Ye Madhava Seva. Please understand that. Huh? We have to serve the pupil to cure them from the disease and make them to Become devotees of Krishna. You understand? Each and every professional person should do this one. Even the engineer is also. Pritham is there. Uh, I also told him. He's doing a, the civil engineering, no? Automobile, sorry. Who was doing this? Oh, this uh, Radesh. Vishal. 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 
विशाल ओ अच्छा राधे से से कामस कामस अच्छा विशाल विशाल इस डूइंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ये निवन ये नी प्रोफेशन हाँ प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड आई एम लिंकिंग सो मेनी थिंग्स नाउ ये निवन ये नी प्रोफेशन इस डूइंग दैट प्रोफेशन इस नॉट प्रोफेशन इट इस पनिशमेंट Punishment means more entanglement. If the same profession, the doctor is the case, huh? If he cures all the patients without expecting anything in return, that Krishna is pleased and is not bound. That one is not punishment. That is his profession. In that profession, there is no. In profession, there is no reaction. Huh? That one is nothing but devotional service. The doctor who is taking care of the patients without expecting anything for his sense gratification, then that service is devotional service to Krishna. Please understand that. Huh? This is not only for doctor. This is for each and every, even for the office boyers. Huh? Just like, just like the lotus, lotus. Huh? You just the lotus leaf, untouched by. Water. Water. And if the water it just uh, drops on the leaf, how it uh, looks like? Huh? Pearl is sprinkling. So the doctor is just like a leaf, lotus leaf, and his professor what the intelligence given him, the doctors, he got. <coughs> that one, because of Krishna has given that one, as the water drop, ah, uh, is fall on the leaf. It looks nice, no? Like that, the soul, the body, doctor body. He got the doctor codes, the doctor's intelligence. So he's shining like that one, isn't it? But anyone can touch that water drop from that leaf. Is it possible? Can anyone hold that one? Can anyone, ah? Uh, Pat this one. Can anyone utilize that one for himself? Huh? It never stays on the leaf, right? It falls down. Like that one. What all the intelligence Krishna has given? That can also like this. Kamala, Kamala, Jala Jala, Jivana, Talamala. Please understand this one also, huh? So our life is just like this one, huh? very very nice. Huh? I want to marry him. Huh? He's a great engineer. He's learning so much. He's working in Google. He's doing like this one, huh? isn't it? Everyone thinks like that. It's just like uh, the water drop on the leaf of a lotus uh, flower. Lotus. No one can enjoy that one till. That you can save the drop of water in the leaf; it trickles. Otherwise, that's not. We are going to miss that one. So, if we use that intelligence, what Krishna has given to become doctors, lawyers, or engineers, that should be used only in the service of Krishna. <coughs> that is guaranteed. <coughs> Otherwise, there is no guarantee. You all understood now. What is the eternal service, eternal <coughs> profession of a human being? Rendering service to Krishna. But once we become doctors, we forget God, isn't it? I know what is the heart, what is the liver, what is the bones, what is the hands, what is the legs. Huh? So where, where is the God? Why I need God? 
So I am God. Like the scientists are now, they are bluffing themselves. Isn't it? But they do not know even uh, completely the knowledge of the human body. It's impossible. One who gives birth to a baby, the mother also doesn't know anything about the inside of the body. Isn't it? So we should understand, uh, everyone is doing some job. The job is punishment. Why it is called punishment? Why it is called punishment? Must be huh? Must be Pardon? That's not a specific answer. Why we call that one as a... Ah, we are supposed to do our eternal service is devotional service, but we have no chance to do this one. We are forced to do something. That's why it is called punishment. Please understand. Who can maintain our lives? Who can maintain our lives? What is the sloka for that one? Yoga Kshemam Vaham Yaham. Krishna is going to take care. But how many people are trying to take care of themselves? Everyone. Is there anyone thinking that Krishna is going to take care of my life? Huh? Is it? So anyone going to work after their studies, they should develop their consciousness that what all the things I am going to do, that is only to please Krishna, in turn, Krishna to take care of me. The results of what I am going to do, that is not going to take care of me. You all got the point? Huh? But I have to do something. Huh? I cannot expect any result from the firm. It is entirely for the pleasure of Krishna. How the prayer Krishna is placed in the case of doctor? The patient is Krishna's son. He is deceased. But he is cured. Is Krishna is not for happy? Supreme Father is not happy? You are doing without flinching any pain to the patient. Huh? Isn't it? The medicine cures the disease, but the pills kills the patient. <laughs> huh? Isn't it? The medicines <laughs> cures the patient. But the doctor is giving pills to that is killing the patient. So if we do actually, a doctor does some service to the patient, you should think, Krishna, the patient is your son. You want me to do huh? this uh, huh? patient free from disease. You have given me that intelligence. I am using my intelligence to help your son. I am also your son. Your son. You gave me intelligence. I got that. I, I observed that one. Your intelligence. But the patient, you could not observe that one. You understand the difference, please, sir? I could able, he, Krishna is equal to all, huh? I could able to grab your intelligence, huh? But this pure fellow, he could not grab from me. Isn't it? So I am helping my own brother. Will Krishna happy or not? This is the way to please Krishna. But if you give the pills to kill the patient, Krishna is happy? Huh? So this is the thing. We should understand that. 
कर्मनिवादिका नस्ते मापलेशु कदा चना यू हैव टू डू योर ड्यूटी डोंट गेट अटैच्ड टू द रिजल्ट्स इज राइट एंड डोंट अब्स्टेन फ्रॉम योर ड्यूटी एंड डोंट थिंक दैट यू आर द कार्स फॉर द रिजल्ट I'm repeatedly telling you all this sloka how to understand our life. Each and every one things that I'm doing is profession for my survival. Huh? But that is not possible. Huh? On our own we cannot survive. You understand? Anyone for the matter. He is put in one position. In that position, he has to face the question. Here, the life is not to make our life enjoyable. You understand? Here, the life is for purification. Very correct. Not to enjoy, uh, to purify. Was, what is purification means? We have to act to please Krishna. Any action you do, uh, any action you do, <laughs> any action. That is not. Well, the action is not important. With what consciousness you are doing that action? The chintamani also, the consciousness, huh? she found how much firm the Bilu Mangala. Huh? The same thing he can transform to Krishna, his life is successful. <laughs> Each one of us have that a uh, propensity. We are all children of Krishna. We have the capacity. To chant minimum 16 rounds a day, we can be able to follow four hundred two principles. We can be able to obey the instructions of our leaders. We have all the qualities because we are all children of Krishna. But we do not want to. That is the problem. Because of false, because of association. Huh? Our association also is the hindrance actually. Very very important. With whom we are associating? Who are our friends? Is Krishna's devotee, Krishna's friend? Otherwise, he's not a friend. Huh? So they are going to spoil our life. Anyone, anything we do, that's not the matter. Whether you are a doctor or you are a lawyer or you are a scavenger, no problem. You are doing only to please Krishna, but from your action, you cannot expect anything in return. You all understand this one? If I also giving some lecture, and I cannot expect anything from anyone except your advancement in spiritual life. For my own sense gratification, if I expect anything from you, then I am also bound. Please, anyone and everyone, please understand this one. Why we are all entangled? We are entangled because we are doing everything for our own pleasure. We have to do anything and everything only for the pleasure of Krishna. Then we are liberated. Sikadev Goswami is liberate, huh? isn't it? So this way we can actually modify our life. Iskhan devotee means his life is entirely different. Huh? He cannot be just like an ordinary person. 
not have any friends, those who are not devotees. You cannot associate with that people. The entanglements of that. When I started Krishna consciousness, I totally my life was changed. I don't have any attachment to any of my relatives, relatives also. That's why even I am also free. I have no free means no obligation towards anyone. <laughs> that is thing. I have no obligation towards anyone, so I am free. You understand? But it's very difficult for others. Even from a wife, if I consider, she got so many obligations. <laughs> you understand? So do any action without expecting anything, just for the pleasure of Krishna. Then your life is really huh, finished. No problem. Huh? In the beginning of my life, I thought that one, huh, I have to go to, I was in Bombay. Huh? I have to go to Kalbadi, it's very long distance from my place. My place, I have to walk half a kilometer to catch the bus. From after getting on the bus, getting the train, I have to walk again half a kilometer because my side is a uh, uh, this uh, luggage and all couple, what is it called? Uh? Train. Uh, the vans and all. Goods. Goods section. So I have to walk from up there, uh, this west, so that uh, my platform. Then after getting down, red lines, I have to walk for again half kilometer. Then I thought I have to do so many things and I have to charge 16 rounds. How it is possible? Nothing is impossible. <laughs> if we become Krishna conscious, nothing is impossible. Impossible is the word. Impossible is the word found in fool's dictionary. Impossible is found in fool's dictionary. It is impossible for me to chant 16 downs a day. <laughs> Anyone who tells like that one is a fool number one. Huh? I cannot follow four regulatory principles. Again, is a fool number one. Huh? Unable to attend with the class, you are fool number one. After attending also, our consciousness is not here. Please understand yourself. Huh? Huh? I am very clearly, I am linking all the things also. Huh? Please understand this one. We had to habituate from the childhood. Huh? That's why Bhakti Prahlad is telling. Even from the tender age, five years, we had to make them rendering service to Krishna. And make them devotees of Five years old. Huh? But we are not isn't it? Bringing up our children in that way, that's the problem. Huh? When we were ch children, that time also it was very nice, atmosphere, everything is very nice. There is no problem, no scarcity for anything. Uh, now you see, everyone is suffering. Huh? Some people telling that uh, our grandchildren may not uh, know what is rain. <laughs> they are telling you, uh, our grandchildren, they do not, they cannot see rain, uh, they do not know what is rain. <laughs> Isn't it? So when we forget Krishna, he cannot take care of us. Yoga Kshema Vaham Yaham. You use your intelligence for your Yoga Kshema, that is not for your Yoga Kshema. That is going to spoil your life. I know so many great, great huh? doctors, lawyers, engineers, they are famed. Huh? Even the cine actors, they are earning so much, so much, so much. Huh? But they cannot carry even single breath. They have to leave everything here. 
But what they are carrying, even your devotee, what he is carrying there? What is carrying? A devotee is there, he is doing so many activities, but not expecting anything for himself. He is doing everything for the pleasure of Krishna. But what he is carrying? What is carrying? The other person, materialists, he also did so many things. What all you accumulated, you left here. But something has to take now. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reactions. Isn't it? Something he is supposed to take, carry that one, he could not carry. Otherwise, instead of that one, he is carrying something else. The devotee also, he did not accumulate anything. But he did so many things. Isn't it? So the result should be there. He is also carrying something. And the material is also carrying something. Devotee is also carrying something. What the devotee is carrying and what the material is carrying. Huh? I'm sorry, I, I cannot get the... Pure souls. So, so what they are carrying? What they are carrying, not devotees, what they are carrying. <coughs> result of? What is the term? What is the result of uh, their activities? Sinful, sinful. Huh? Sinful. That is against the, sinful means? Against the scriptural instruction. Isn't it? The doctors and they are offending. Really, you are charging more, you are offending the person. Hmm? Isn't it? Mistakes means that can be uh, excused, but offenses cannot. Isn't it? So, it has to be very, very unnecessary also. Offending means for him. Person, we are doing something wrong. Sinful means against the scriptural injunctions. Please understand. This is what we are supposed to learn in a woman form. It's not that B.E. degree or M.D. degree or B.Tech or M.Tech or Ph.D. That is not going to take care of us actually. Each and every one. In Krishna consciousness, there is no, there is no partiality. Krishna does not have any partiality. For him, everyone is equal because we are all children of Krishna. Anyone who is doing something for the pleasure of Krishna, then Krishna likes him. Krishna takes care of him. Krishna provides what he lacks. Uh, Krishna protects what he has. You, you understand? According to the karmic reactions, they were put into different, different positions. Isn't it? Uh, according to the previous karmic reactions, they were put into different, different uh, positions. But even the lowest fellow, if he does something to please Krishna, huh? if a highly positioned person is not pleasing Krishna, then he will fall down and he will elevate. Huh? Even Chandala, he does devotional service. He understood the science of Krishna. Now huh? he's a great Vaishnava. He's going back home, back to God. Even your Brahmana, huh? you puffed up with his knowledge and not accepting Krishna, not doing devotional service, then he's losing the chance of going back home, back to God. You understand? Our life purpose is not to earn lots and lots and lead a very nice, no? 
enjoyable life. The aim of our life is to purify ourselves. The purification comes when we do any action for the pleasure of Krishna. Yeah? It is not that when I am leaving my home and I am joining as full time in this center. Whether you are in home or in center, you have to act only for the pleasure of Krishna. A grahastha having a wife and children huh? and all together pleasing Krishna, that is goal of Vrindavana. Huh? We cannot give any excuse for not to become devotee. There is no material impediments in devotional service to Krishna. Understand? It is impossible. That is a fool. This is the impediment for me to do devotional service to Krishna. Many people they say, no, my mother is not good, my father is not accepting, they are not allowing me to charge. Krishna's statement is, there is no material impediment in devotional service. We say so many excuses. My father doesn't like How it is possible practically to take that from his father is not happy if he does chanting. So what do what they think solution? <coughs> Got the question? The devotee claims he blames the father. If I chant, my father is not happy, so he is stopping me chanting. But Krishna is telling there is no impediment, material impediment in rendering my service. Krishna is telling. But how he can understand that one? His father doesn't allow him. Chant. How it is possible? Krishna's statement is wrong. Then? His desire is not. His, huh? des his desire is not. Uh... No, whether that, that desire okay, that is different. But this is the situation his father doesn't like him. He wants to touch the bag. Uh -huh. His activities are not pleasing. Huh? Pray, pray, how? Oh. Huh? That's good. This new one he is telling so many things and you people are... Uh, I, I told you many, many times if there is some problem, how to rectify that problem? Such a, such a father. Hmm. First of all, we should realize why we are having this hindrance. Why Krishna is putting me some hindrance. Is it? We have to find out our own mistakes, offenses. We cannot blame our father. <laughs> my father because of my father, I am not chanting. Krishna is not happy. Our nature is always, we are best, others are bad. I am so good, I wanted to chant. My father is so bad, he does not want me to chant. That's why I am not I couldn't able to chant. Is Krishna happy? Krishna only asked his father to stop him chanting. He never understood the point also. Unless, otherwise Krishna doesn't sanction his father to stop him, he cannot stop him. We are not understanding that point. So it is pain. Because Krishna, you are sanctioning my father to stop me chanting because I am sinful. Isn't it? This we should first of all understand and break Krishna. Huh? 
Huh? What to pray? He is to know, seek help. Without your help, I cannot do this one. Okay? Then Krishna will provide some way. We have so many gardens are there, so many temples are there. You go there and you do. Normally, in my those days, I used to travel, no? In Bangalore only, I have some problem. If I do, I miss the train, huh? then I have to catch buses. Sometimes there is some time. I have to kill the time. But nearby, I know when the Hanuman temple is there in Bangalore. Huh? I go to that Bangalore, the temple, Hanuman temple, I keep chanting. Then at the right time I go and catch my bus or either bus or train. I still remember that temple, huh? that tree. I used to know. There only I have a problem catching uh, either bus or train. It's like that one. Huh? So we have to understand uh, how best we can solve our problems. We have problems. To hear is human. Who is woman? To hear is woman. Then who is a, yeah, a woman? One who rectifies his ear, ear is a woman. You all understand? One who rectifies his ear is a woman. Otherwise, he is two-legged animal. <laughs> we cannot say to hear is a woman. You become a woman. How? Rectify your mistake. Isn't it? It's not nice. Others will remain too late anymore. The path the pursuit. Isn't it? So this way, from the childhood, huh, we have to bring up the children also. Don't tell that if you become grown up, you will become doctor, you will add so much this and that and all that. <laughs> when I was a boy, small boy, I used to study, I am always first in my class. My younger brother is not that much interested in studies. In my home, everybody tells you, see, your brother is studying, he is going to have a very nice family. He is going to make a very good family, high family, you know that you are going to suffer. To my younger brother, they used them. But that's not true. I'm not earning you a single pie even today. But I'm happy only. But he's not that much happier. I'm happier than my younger brother. You understand? Happiness comes when Krishna is happy. Because of our activity. So now you remove all your ideas how to be happy, how to get more money, how to get more facilities, this, that, and all that. That and all only the products coming by the mercy of Krishna. We cannot get that from directly. Yeah. Please Krishna, Krishna knows Yoga Kshema, what are necessary for us, what are unnecessary for us. Huh? So in that way, our life in this material world is only to please Krishna. And we have some obligations. We are put into some situation. In that situation we have to act, acting only for our purification to please Krishna not to maintain your situation. Your situation is maintained by Krishna. <coughs> you understand? We cannot try to be happy. <coughs> Don't try to see Krishna. You act in such a way that Krishna wants to see you. Don't try to be happy. Give the happiness to Krishna, in turn you will be happy. Huh? You understand? 
anything, anybody wants to have anything? Anyone wants to become anything like that? Huh? You don't do that one part. Huh? Even Bhakti Prahlad is also telling, if you want to be happy, don't try to be happy. Then you are happy. If you try to be happy, then you are always unhappy. You cannot be happy. So many things are there, but we are not accepting, we are not doing accordingly. Everything is Krishna is controlling because of that. So this way we have to understand how best we can lead our life in this material world. Our life here is not original life. This is only our training period. This is not our real life. Real life is in Goloka Vrindavana, not here. This is training period. We are under training. Isn't it? What is the other word in training period? First six months? Probation. Probation. What is there? Probation means? No leaves. There is no free time. Oh, yes. <laughs> you are completely restricted. Huh? Probationary period means that is very, very tight. Huh? <laughs> you cannot have any freedom. This also in material world, this is a probationary period. <laughs> in probation period, you don't seek pleasure. Isn't it? In probation period, you don't seek pleasure. So in this material also don't seek pleasure. <laughs> huh? It's very, very difficult probationary period means. Once you cross that probationary period, then you are very, very happy, isn't it? So in this probationary period, if we huh, become successful, huh, then we can go back on that part. That is real life. After the probation period, don't we are going to have the real job, isn't it? Probation period, they will ask you to go there, 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 as, as they need. Yeah? So this life is not to enjoy. Please understand that. This is life is only to please Krishna. But why, when we understand that one, we don't even feel it is very, very austerior, austere work. Getting up early in the morning is not austere for a habituated person. Huh? But the new come, new, newcomer, huh? for him, is very, very austere. Uh, he is very, very, he feels like that. You know? Austerity. I cannot get up early in the morning. Chanting is still on. No, no, Baba, it's not possible for me. But you try, then you don't feel it is austerity. It? So like that when as we have a trade, everything becomes possible. Otherwise it is impossible. Apyasena through Kanteya. By doing the practice, you can also control the mind. If you don't practice, you cannot control. If you don't practice, you cannot, if you don't control if you don't do devotional service throughout your life, you cannot, you cannot remember Krishna at the time of giving up the body. Huh? If you time, time up throughout your life, you cannot remember Krishna at the time of giving up our body. That is more important than how best I can accumulate money, how best I can do this, how best I can do that. That is not at all. How best I can remember Krishna. What is the practice? In each and every action you are doing, you should think uh, this action is going to please Krishna. Then we are always remembering Krishna. But we are not thinking whether this action is going to please Krishna. No, no, no. This action should please me. That's why you know, we are all failures. We are not remembering Krishna. Many people, you know, 
they underwent so many accidents, no? They meet, uh, they meet so many accidents, many, many people. Even in devotees also, you ask anyone, at the time of meeting an accident, uh, was it possible for him to remember Krishna? No. So now you practice, uh, listening, or you are all listening. Krishna, by listening to the lecture, is facing you. If not, please help me to listen properly. Uh, you got the point? I cannot think of anything else. Don't engage me somewhere else. At least I am here. <laughs> now, you please uh, help me to concentrate on this one. After coming here, you are going away. Is Krishna is pleased? Huh? You understand? Many people like that. I'm coming to the, hey, what happened to my home? The children are there. I left my children. What they must be doing? This, that, and all. Huh? Whether I turned off or not, the stuff. Huh? Most of the people. Huh? <laughs> Even once I did like that one only. Huh? My stuff also. I know no one was there. You only I was there. Before going to the temple, I did not turn that off. Huh? I put that one and when I come back after six hours, the gas was going on, going on, going on, gone. <laughs> Once in my life also it so happened. I cannot forget that one. Huh? I didn't turn that gas off. Huh? It was burning, burning, six hours gone. So we have to habituate that nature, whether this is going to please Krishna. Uh, without practicing, we cannot come to that point. <coughs> Try to. Uh, and it is very, very nice. Krishna is also happy. Krishna will also help us to remember Him. Uh, he's telling you, as though you throughout your life, you are doing so much service, even at the time you unable to remember me, I will remind you. I will give my darshan to you. Huh? Isn't it? So this way we have to understand today's class huh? how best we can lead our life in this material world huh? in order to please Krishna and go back home back to God. One hour time? Okay, I cannot prolong now. <laughs> okay, this is enough now for today. So Hare Krishna, thank you very much. Is there any doubts or clarification? Practical learn. Don't uh, remember the story in Ramayana and Mahabharata, this, that, and all. Practically, how best you can practice this one? Yes, Prabhuji. I have a only uh, US. US, yes. See? Uh, in Chennai. Achha. Uh, and uh, she is a widow because the husband was an orthopedic surgeon. And <coughs> he was also a surgeon. Surgeon and he passed away more than 10 years back. Okay. Now recently she put a post in uh, Facebook. Mm. Uh, this is what she says. What purpose do I serve? What did my life mean? Why do I still exist when I contribute nothing to society? Mm. Should I exist? Is she, is so she, is, she herself is realizing that she is not doing anything to the society. Yes. But now also there is a chance for her to serve society. I already told her, what all we have that is not for ourselves. We have to use that is for others because others are children of Krishna. What all we have that we cannot carry on. We have to use everything in the service of Krishna to make others devotees. Then our lives are there. We are all still here, like that only. Uh, why to prolong her life? No, she is telling. She has to use anything and everything, what all she has, that is, in the service of Krishna to help others, to make them devotees. That is the duty of everyone. I have this knowledge and realization. I'm coming and I'm telling her, uh, you remember it not, 
when I used to defer, uh, listen to my Guru Maharaj, Radhana Swami Maharaj, one class I heard, then I think, oh, Krishna consciousness is this much only. There is nothing beyond this one. Everything I understood. Everything I understood. Huh? I understood completely. I, I, I know Krishna consciousness. Next today, next class, same Radha Swami is giving. I hear everything new to me. <laughs> Yesterday I was thinking, I know everything completely. Huh? Now I understand what is Krishna consciousness. The next day he comes and he speaks, I wonder. What is this he speaking? I did never knew this one before. So Krishna consciousness, serving Krishna is unlimited. Huh? We cannot think that this is the... So he cannot think that this is the life. Our life is, that is going on, there is no death for us. Huh? So if she can use anything that what she has, that is in the service of Krishna. She had to utilize everything. Huh? Now she is in Chennai, no? No, no, she is in the U.S. U.S. only. Acha. <coughs> in U.S. also we have so she many. almost alone now. That's why I'm telling. She is not feeling the presence of Krishna. That's why she is feeling alone. You ask her, is there any ISKCON center? At least he could uh, read Prabhupada books. I told him to read Bhagavad uh, Gita. Huh? You tell the same, you, you can send in that message. Today's class also, yes. my mentor told, like this one, you have to live for 100 years. Tell her, huh? there is some purpose for your life. Huh? Don't huh, miss that purpose. Accept that one. Execute that one. Huh? Otherwise you are going to become unhappy. Use anything and everything huh, to please Krishna. Better you go to any nearby ISKCON center. ISKCON center, otherwise nowhere, no one can help her. Huh? Even Parikshit Maharaj, he never knew what to do. He got a curse for a little boy. So he went, he keep on asking everyone. The message was spread throughout the three worlds. Everyone came. They wanted to see how a Vaishnava, a great soul, a king of kings, is going to give up his body. Huh? How great it is. Huh? See, everyone got the purpose. Huh? We're all children of Krishna. She's also children of Krishna. But she's forgetting. There is a purpose behind our life. Why I am coming like the my I unable to Friday I I was in the Kanchipuram. Yesterday I was roaming, roaming and seeing so many places uh, for my this one and land this one. And today again I was I cannot even put my I thought of bringing my hand stick also, but I I didn't bring that one. Hmm? But for Kanchipuram I took that uh, this one. That's why I could be able to walk. Understand, but there is till I give up my body, I have something I have to vote to the public. I have to vote something to the devotees. I cannot think that what is the purpose. The purpose is to please Krishna through any action. Huh? You tell her today. I read out your message. Huh? You want to tweet huh? that one. I got this one. So, you, your aunt, yeah, your aunt, isn't it? You write your aunt, huh? like this one, huh? so she can use anything and she can please, please Krishna also. Then Krishna, one step she puts, no? he also put one his step. step. He, her step and his step are different. Huh? Her step is very short, very small, but his step is very long. Huh? So like that one, Krishna will also show some guidance, he gives guidance. Okay, but don't uh, become what you call fat fatigued or uh, uh, what you can say pay, uh, depressed. Depressed. Huh? depressed. Depressed or something, frustrated. Huh? We have to be optimistic, huh? not pessimistic. She is pessimistic now. Huh? Make her, tell her, become optimistic. Krishna wants you, you have to do something. 
That's not the matter whether we are living 48 years or 84 years. That's not the matter. But what all uh, we are contributing, how we are using ours uh, in the service of Krishna to help others. That's the best one. Yes, anyone has anything? Yes, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm Bhagavan gift Buddha, the like a gift from God. And the gift in a random, sorry, I cannot, uh, you have, uh, God has given us some gift. Uh, this is the body. God has given this body as a gift. And we discard the gift. Uh, the person who has given this body can he give another body to the third person? Ni you have phone, it's clear. I don't understand what the people. They are not following the rules and regulations. I am so low. So low. Yes, I am going to ask you. So Krishna is not happy like that one. We cannot have the duplicator. Duplicity in our life. We have to be very obedient. Hmm? You understand? So Krishna is not happy. What the person I just called. No, no, we must him. God has given this body as the gift. And we are discarding that gift. Again, how can you expect the gift from God? So God is not going to give unless you repent for your mistake. Is it possible? It's not possible. By chance of some Vaishnavas, they give some lectures and their souls, uh, they are present there and here. If they repent, then Krishna will give them somebody, some other body. 84 lakhs bodies are there, no? Huh? So if something good is coming, you cannot neglect it. If you neglect, you are going to lose that one. You cannot get it back. Huh? Please understand. Such as association also. If you neglect this one, it's very, very difficult you to get back this one. It's not time pass. Many people come at least, okay, I'm hearing two hours lecture is good. That's not, that's not time pass. This is the past times. Past times is, past times are eternal, always going on. After hearing this one, we also think this one. How best I can utilize this one in my life and how best I can remember Krishna, how best I can please Krishna. It's not just like a time pass. I, you try and all, they give this, uh, uh, they ground and spin it, no? that one, uh, time pass. It's not like that one. This one we have to implement in our lives. Isn't it? Huh? So if the good thing is there, you are discarding means you cannot get it back. The time you spent cannot cannot get it back even with the millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Huh? So we have to be very, very careful. Huh? Act in such a way that you are pleasing Krishna. Otherwise it's very, very difficult. Our life is not good. Anything else? Anyone who is not questioning, he never understood the lecture. He is not getting any, he huh? is not bothered to understand the lecture. Huh? 
The father purpose you can have is your hand. Krishna knows no one can cheat Krishna. Huh? Okay, tell some, ask something. I'm sorry? False, Krishna is not creating false ego. He is giving you ego. But you want to be happy yourself without Krishna, without source. That's why that ego becomes a false ego. But if your ego is thinking that you are the servant of servant of servant of Krishna, the eternal profession needs to serve Krishna, to please Krishna, then that becomes true ego. You have to transform your false ego to true ego. So it is not Krishna is intentionally giving you false ego. There is ego for each and every soul. You have to make it false ego or true ego. That's within your hand, according to your desires. Okay, that's your answer. Yes. Unable to go uh, so having the darshan of uh, Lord is the mercy. Huh? Mercy means at least we should uh, try to purify our mistakes. Huh? How you can glorify Krishna. You understand? Mercy means we have to understand, realize our own mistakes. Correcting our mistakes. Otherwise you are Glorifying Krishna, so Krishna is so good, nice, huh? he is helping me. Huh? Helping her to understand a mistake, that is also Krishna's mercy. Many people, they do something and they never realize their mistakes. She didn't have the judgment, no? Huh? The first thing I am telling, she didn't have so she should think that when Krishna, you have not sanctioned what is he thought is good, huh? You did sanction me to have your person. I'm so sinful, so fallen, huh? But I'm also your daughter. I'm sinful, but you are not sinful. You are all good. Huh? Not showing your person, you make me to, you help me to understand my mistakes. At least, Krishna, you help me to come back here again to have your this. Without your help, it is not possible. You, you understand? This time, this is not good. Next time, when you are going to invite me, that time, huh, I will really forget myself huh? I will become transcendental to have your darshan. This, this time, even if I have your darshan, I never become transcendental. That's why you want me to come again, help me. So positive way we can think of me anyway, huh? but we cannot think of even negative ones also. 
they were going to miss the chance for having the better chance next time. You understand the point? We cannot blame Krishna. They will have a better chance next time. Huh? I am so sinful, that's why you are not allowing me. Even if you allow me, I know that you can allow me, but I am not going to become trans, I am not going to be, become blissful. That's why, in this circumstance, you are not allowing me to have your darshan. But Krishna, you are going to help me next time. That time I am fully going to become blissful, transcendental. I forget myself. Huh? Krishna, you failed me this, this time. But I know that one, next time you are going to make me huh? very strong, huh? very perfect. You understand? Always we should have passed the way back to glorify Krishna. Cannot glorify negatively. Then we are not going to have the better chance next time. Huh? This also we have to practice. At any time, don't blame anyone else, including Krishna. Try to understand our own mistake. Huh? Don't blame anyone. If you blame anyone, you are not going to be uh, exposed. Uh, you cannot please Krishna. Krishna cannot forgive you. You understand? Try to help others to understand his position. Yes, Mataji? <coughs> yes. 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 Sometimes the consciousness is Sometimes? Is, is, that varies, yeah. Your concentration, your consciousness should be Krishna consciousness. If you have Krishna consciousness, you can able to see Krishna in each and everyone. You understand? When you remember Krishna, your consciousness is very nice. When you forget Krishna, you are unable to see Krishna in others, then your consciousness will be there. You understand? So try to see Krishna in everyone. The hidden end of Krishna. Uh, this very, very important point of his no doubt of the hidden end of Krishna to be seen in each and every action. Uh, then we cannot forget Krishna. Uh, try to see the hidden end. That is remembering Krishna. I remember my son, and you are not thinking of my son picture in my mind. Is the remembering of my son? Can you not tell it? I am remembering my son, but I am not remembering the image of my son. Huh? Remembering Krishna means what? We are thinking Krishna. Oh, Krishna is doing like this one. Huh? He slapped on my cheek. Oh, Krishna made him to slap on my cheek. Huh? We understand? This is the way of remembering Krishna, seeing the hidden end of Krishna in each and every action. That we need some practice. Huh? We cannot all of a sudden become like that one. Huh? Practice, practice. We may miss so many times, no problem. Cannot get this courage. Huh? We always be enthusiastic, encouraged to practice this one. Even for Arjuna, Krishna is telling you to practice. So who are we? We are better than Arjuna? No. So we have to also practice. Huh? For Arjuna also Krishna asked him to practice. Then we should also practice. More than what Arjuna practiced. <laughs> you got the answer for your question? The very sweet, the variable thing is we forget sometimes Krishna, we remember sometimes Krishna. Try to remember Krishna all the time. See Krishna in everyone. Everyone is part and parcel of Krishna. Huh? It's a practical way. Yes. What is pure ego? What is false ego? Ego. 
ego is one each one each soul got ego false ego means we are in the wrong way wrong path if i want to go from kilkatlai to mount is not going right turn i am going left turn ha huh? is right or wrong ha huh? like the twin we have the ego the right ego means the ego means that should be try to please krishna because we are all part and parcel of krishna that is the right ego i am servant of krishna my action should please krishna i am a child of krishna i am part and parcel of krishna my life is only to please krishna this is true ego ram is going this side huh i am independent i want to please my life i want to please huh? myself in my life i want to enjoy i do not want to serve anyone huh? there is no source for me i am independent i want to enjoy this material world even if god is there god has created all these things to enjoy for myself so the god has created prabha i want to enjoy why god has created this one for my enjoyment this is a false ego you understand if your action is not pleasing krishna that is false ego your action is pleasing krishna that is true ego ego is there we cannot kill ego huh as a soul is the ego is also LPMs, okay. Yes. Some person due to negligence that has accident, they drive very fast, and uh, so they some person they put into situation accident. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why the situation has arisen? Because of his past need. Past need, no. They knowingly drive very fast. So yes. Accident is happening. They fall sick. I'm, I'm the king, Baba. I, I will ride, huh? Some person, but. Uh, Situation come, they yeah. Why the situation arises? Because of his past need. Krishna makes that arrangement. Huh? Ah, the situation is created by Krishna, sanctioned by Krishna because of our past needs. Huh? You cannot think that the natural intention did something for me. No, no, no. Everything has is very, very nice science. Huh? The science never goes wrong. Very fast, then accident may not be happen. Whether it's true, driving very fast, some people, every accident may happen. Whether you are uh, driving fast or not, if you are destined to meet some accident, you are going to meet the accident. <laughs> if you always remember Krishna and you drive fast, you are not going to meet any accident. You forget Krishna, and drive very slowly carefully then also someone will come big at you and hit you <laughs> it is not only that uh, you have to be very cautious sir uh, but krishna should also help you <laughs> then only it is possible if krishna to help you you have to please krishna for each and every action we should try to please krishna then only we are safe otherwise not safe okay okay everybody is okay Okay, Hare Krishna, thank you.